What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and we will be doing something specific today. Before I get to the video, I have a quick shout out going to Bugogi and Franzon. I was up in a uh, Jabberwock quest with them and they asked me to shout them out. So what's up guys? Um, now, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Uh, I want to show you guys exactly what to do uh, for the last day before the big patch comes out. Now. The thing that I've been doing the most is actually doing the Jabberwock plus one uh, item item uh, thing that I was doing. And if you guys haven't seen the plus one video, it'll be right uh, here below um, this webcam, right below this donate. It'll be right there for you guys to, to click on and check out. But uh, as a quick overview, it's basically just going to be a uh, quest that you can do uh, that's going to plus one your items. Um, and it'll just give you a bunch of plus one items that you can do. Um, but uh, as far as getting the Jabberwock, you definitely want to get at least one. If you're a Lancer, I would suggest getting two to three of these uh, Jabberwocks, as you will. This will be your um, one of your main elements, being a neutral element, and it will go to UR uh, eventually. Uh, I don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but it is going to go to UR, and it is the way that actually goes to UR is actually getting a relic. That's almost like an event quest. That's like a, a monster event quest. So you you do a little event, and you get you get this relic drop that comes from the reward, and then you combine it with like another relic, and it becomes like a UR. So that's how you uh, would get um, a UR Jabberwock in the future. But I would suggest yes, Lancers get three of them. Um, Archers can get one or two, depending. Um, and my blue stacks closed. But um, I would definitely suggest that if you do not have a Jabberwock already, you definitely want to go ahead and get that. Uh, the best way to get a Jabberwock is to have some of your high-level friends uh, come with you on a uh, 40 AP run. I actually was able to uh, heal carry people through Jabberwock uh, at level 40. They were like level 40s, but they were taking all like uh, soldier skills with defense, and they weren't really doing much. Like there was one of them level 40, one of them level 50, and then the rest of us were 85. So. You can have some of your high level friends carry you through it if you just have all defensive gear if you're really low. Or you can just actually do uh, the quest that is the 32 AP I believe. Yes, this is a 32 AP that uh, you can actually get the Jabberwock on. It's very, very easy. Um, you just make sure you don't kill yourself with the mirror, uh, mirror. And I'll put the video of the Jabberwock 40 run below here so you guys can actually um, check that out as well. So, um, what to do before um, before the actual uh, patch comes. Uh, getting your plus items uh, on your monster is incredibly useful. As I have just uh, maxed out my Alice here to uh, 198, um, so it's 99.99. So this is going to be very good for um, my uh, guild battles. Um, and this is really the only uh, monster I wanted to, to get to 198. I, I don't have any like Absteris or, or uh, you know Fire Valkyries. I wasn't really lucky on those pulls. So that's what you want to do, guys. Get that to 198. Another thing you guys definitely want to do is be able to get your AP, um, sorry, your your proficiency all the way probably to at least 15k uh, to 30k. I said this in my last video, but I didn't really tell you how to get your best, the best way to get proficiency. So the, f the way you would, uh, the best way, um, literally, to get proficiency is to uh, actually go to Wolf of the World and spam that quest all day. Um, the the actual like, there's like a little trick that you can do where you help friends. You just keep spamming help friends or recommended quests. And here, see Wolf of the World progress three out of five. You go ahead and begin this quest. Um, but my my AP is actually. Uh, 17 so let's go ahead and I'll just recover AP for you guys because I, I uh, you know I'll just I'll just do that for the video but uh, I'm gonna be able to join it because it's too late but you definitely want to look for wolf of the world that is past wave one already so you want to refresh it um, and look for something that's like wave two wolf of the world all right so let's check this out um, we're gonna hold on to this for like a couple more seconds and wait for it to tick down then we're gonna be begin the quest right like right about uh, now I probably should have took a heal, but I didn't take a heal. Oh well. Um, let's just hope that there's a healer here. No, there's no healer here. Oh well. So usually you'd want to take uh, away this cheer here because it's pretty useless in PVE, um, and then you would take a heal instead. But any, anyways, I just took uh, damage, so that's fine. 
uh, for now, but I would definitely suggest putting a heal in this right here. And the reason that we actually went into the Wolf of the World, like the at the third um, or fourth quest here, is because the proficiency stays uh, about the same. And I'll tell you, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean when uh, we do this from the very beginning. Okay. So Wolf of the World, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lethal strikes on him. And then what we're just looking for is basically we're going to put as much damage as possible on him right now before the buff goes down, the debuff. But the, since the debuff went down, it's alright. And then um, we're trying to get our unison up here. I'm almost going to die here, but uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think he's going to kill me before we kill him. There it is, the Vanguard. And he's going to die, so I'll just use a regular attack on him. And he's dead. So we pretty much just smashed on him. He's pretty dead. Uh, and we're gonna see what it actually gives us at the end of this right here. So, um, I you could take us, you could look at my my AP before this, and then look at my AP right after. Um, but it'll definitely show you 24 proficiency, right? And I spent like a little tiny bit amount of HP. So I think it had 17. So it's it's like whatever my max is plus 17. Um, okay. All right. So 104. Yeah. So. Um, I did get a good amount of, uh, of actual, uh, proficiency from that. So, let's see if I'm, I'm terrible at, at math here, but 104, uh, plus the 19 is, uh, 123. So it actually just took 10 of my AP. And then, um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is do it regularly how I would do it. Um, so you can just go into the quest. Go into Wolf of the World, don't put anything on it. Uh, you don't need any EXP boost or any random boost and just be going, begin quest. And that's going to take the maximum amount of AP, which is 19, right? Most of the time, because uh, it, unless it sticks you into a quest that's already perfect. Okay, so this is uh, on uh, Wave 1. So it's just, it should take about the same amount of a AP. And this guy only has a mirror uh, level 1 on him, so I could actually kill him without dying. So just going ahead, going ahead and killing off all these people. I f again forgot to put a heal on, but there's a healer in this one, so it shouldn't be too bad. All right, Angelman. This um, is actually bad for you because the proficiency is not as good on Angelman as uh, on regular mobs. So it's actually not the best for you. <clears throat> and, it, and since you already have maximum uh, level then it's it's kind of useless but if i mean honestly if you don't have maximum level it's really good for you so it's it's a win or lose situation depending on if you're high high level or not so we'll do another one after this another angelman just to make sure that um i'm getting the maximum amount of ap from these quests so a lot of people are like oh happy happy that they're getting these angelmans but i'm like oh man this sucks because I already have uh, full XP, right? So, lethal striking this guy, making sure I'm getting the maximum amount of damage on him. I don't u actually use this uh, high circle snipe if I have low uh, cost. I just wait until my uh, lethal is back up. But if I have like a really like, a lot amount of cost or I'm right about to use my unison, then I'll use it. But as for right now, I'm just using um, using lethal. And like right now, I'll use the high circle because he's right about to die. And um, and that's the best way to do it because you, you didn't want to wait for your lethal at that point. Okay, so let's see how much proficiency we're getting from this one. Although this one was um, the Angelman's, so I believe I'm getting less. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm pretty sure you're getting less uh, proficiency from Angelman's. So, yeah, 24 is it's around the same proficiency. So maybe you're not even getting less uh, proficiency from Angelman. So 24 was the last one, 24 is this one. Uh, press OK and it did take, um, I'm pretty sure it was the 19 that it took from that one. So I don't remember what we started at, but uh, I think it was about 19. So that was 97, I don't remember exactly what we started at. Mm, I think it may, may, may have took, took like 12 or something. But you definitely want to get into a quest that's already um, already going. So like that's the best way to do it is getting into a quest that's already going. Um, I'll go ahead and do it one more time in in the actual stage six and just going into a Wolf of the World. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually start one from the very beginning. Uh, and this time I will take a heal. Just because if uh, we go with no healers, I don't want to die. Uh, and if we go with low levels, sometimes I have to solo it. So, so you definitely want to take a cure in here. Just in case you have to solo the, the boss. Because uh, you can't really solo the boss without a cure. Um, because you're just going to have to cycle. You Pretty much what you're doing is cycling your unison and healing yourself. Uh, so that's how that works. So let's go ahead and get into um, the quest one more time. We're going to back into the World for the World. Boom. Going straight into it. I have one. Uh, I have 97. So it should be 80, 78 if this is the same, right? If it okay, this is this is this is the very beginning. This is perfect for the video. So being able to kill these guys off. See how much damage they do just regular attack. That's pretty good, but definitely not uh, worth um, five. So I'm just gonna do regular attack uh, regular combos on this guy Oop. and this one will kill him a regular attack I believe so just use that all right so basically this right now just going through the motions of doing the quest over and over again you're gonna get a little bit bored doing uh, a lot of the quests over and over again however you can put auto on if you want until the boss I wouldn't say I wouldn't suggest doing auto on the boss unless there's a good healer in your in your group um, or your group is just like rocking it and you don't really have to do anything but you could put auto on for now or let your friends kill it off I'll probably go for this guy this guy's gonna get killed off so yeah I want that for that guy on the bottom because a lot of people will go for the middle mob because it has the highest HP so they don't um, try to waste their costs on something that has low HP a lot of people are gonna go for this extra knight guy I, don't, I believe or the Exia knight right here um, so there it is, the Photon Crush and my uh, Lethal went on to the same dude. So that guy's gonna die off, probably uh, get Photon Crush by Rio or this guy right here. Yeah, Photon Strike, dead. Alright, so once you get to here, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, kill the boss before he, he kills you. Um, and then we'll show you exactly how much uh, AP we're getting from, I mean, uh, proficiency we're getting from a regular uh, Fenrir quest versus something that you just go in and a little bit less AP comes off. So, here we go. Just doing, I have maximum amount of uh, stuff here, so we just go ham on him. Maximum uh, cost here. So that was good. Got all that stuff done. Um, and I'll show you how much proficiency it used. So, just do. Uh, and looks like proficiency is going to 25, okay? So, 25 proficiency, you get one more proficiency, probably because it took a little bit longer on the time. Alright, press OK. And 79. So, about 70, it did take about 19 from my uh, points, and then I re regen the one point. So that's just a quick tutorial on like how to maximize your AP to proficiency gain cost. Um, just showing you guys that yes, you definitely want to go into the weapon recommended quest, look at Wolf of the World, hit that right here, the 2 out of 5, go back into it again. And this is the way that you're going to do it all day long for until you can get um, around, you know, the 15k proficiency mark. Um, you can keep on doing gems if you want or not um, Actually, you know what I actually would recommend though is wait until you actually the patch actually hits um, To do this uh, the reason being you're actually not gonna get any XP from this quest specifically right now Unless you're lower than 85. I would recommend doing it now if you're lower than 85 if you're 85 now I wouldn't recommend doing it until you're actually um, Going to be able to gain XP from the quest uh, don't spend any gems on it rather if you have like a bunch of pluses on your monsters already And your only thing you're worried about right now is proficiency. You can do this quest uh, continuously um, However, if you have any monsters that you want plus up definitely do the plus one uh, Jabberwocky 8 AP quest But um, yeah, the reason I wouldn't uh, recommend it is because you're not gonna get any XP So wait till level 90 uh, you can get to level 90 if you're 85 wait till the, the patch hits then spam the highest level quest so 
it's probably going to be the next you know quest line that's coming out but it's it's going to be the same basic principles don't join anything that's uh like brand new join something that's already being oh god somebody unison some um something that's already being used so like say they're at you know, three out of four, three out of uh, three out of five, or three out of six, whatever the, the stage length is. You want to join those, as it will give you the maximum amount of uh, proficiency for AP cost. Okay. So I think that's about it for this one, guys. If that helped you out at all, give me a thumbs up. Uh, definitely hit up the comments below. Tell me what you guys want in the next video. I will, excuse me. I will be doing a um, tutorial on the patch that comes out. Um, and I will be buying the cost reduction or the cost reset if that's out already. I think that's supposed to be coming out next patch. Uh, that's why I have uh, some gems saved up. Um, if it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. Um, and I'll show you exactly what's going on with the patch. So yeah, definitely subscribe and check out my my channel. I'm gonna be coming out with that uh, ASAP. And I think that's about it for this one. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and take it easy. Peace.